Hi, I'm Peter Shields from Airmet, and I'm back again today to give you some tips on using the 3M DMS software. DMS has some great functions. One of them is creating a template, so you can always get your data into a report in the same format. It takes a little time to set up, but if you do it properly, it will save you plenty of time in the future. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create and save a template in DMS. So let's get started. Once you have DMS open, click on Data Finder. And I'm just going to choose a file, so I'll choose this one here. It's an edge data file and I'm going to use this as an example, but templates can be done for any instrument that you use with your DMS. We're in the panel layout view, so you can see all the different panels that are selected. If you look over this side, there's a, a section where you can add a panel. So I've got information panel, summary data panel, log data chart, and log data table. I like to actually include the calibration history in my report, so I'll add that and you'll see you can rename it here if you want to, but I'll just leave it as calibration history and it's added that to, to the panel view. So if I go up here to the top and I'll start with the information panel, if I click on configure, I can select what will appear in, in, in this panel. So I've got comments, company name, description, I probably would like to add you know, name, run time, serial number, start time and stop time. So I've added those and they will all appear in this panel now. If you want to make any adjustments to these, you just right click on it, type in, the, type in what you want to type, in the information and just press enter and it will save it. Again, the same over on this one, I've got the summary data panel. As you can see, there's only a few different parameters showing, so I'd like to add some of these. So I we're interested in, say, LPC peaks, LEQs, because they're important to us here in Australia. Um, they, you can also see here there's metre one and metre two, so I will leave metre two unticked because I don't want to confuse things with any extra data. And we've also got here measurements and parameters. So parameters, I would like to do some other things like um, add, I'll add criterion time and response and exchange rate, just so that that information will be shown in this summary data panel. So now you can see those different parameters and information have been added to my summary data panel. The next panel I'll go down to is my log data chart. You can see I'm only displaying peaks at the moment, so I'd like to be able to see my LEQs as well. So I will add the LEQ. Um, you can see I've now got LEQ and peak. I'd like to change the colour of one of the lines, so I'll just click up here and go to series attributes. I'll make my LEQ, perhaps I can do that red. So that's that's my uh, log data chart done. I'm also going to configure my data table, so I want to display the LEQs as well, so I'll tick that. Okay, and I've got got this, all, all of my panels set up. Now I'm going to go to the top where it says manage templates and I will now rename this template I'll call that test template and I'll say save the current layout as that. So now you can see I have this test template here and what I would like to do is every time I open DMS and open a file, I want to see it in exactly the same format. So what I'm going to do is reset, um, set the selected template, my test template, as my default template. So now whenever I open any data, it's going to appear in this configuration. So now that I've, I've saved that, I can go to my report view and this is going to show me how my report appears. And in the report, it will just show me everything that I've ticked in those different panels. So I've got my chart, my information up the top here, my summary data panel, which gives me a, a quick overview of what's happened, my log data chart, and then the, all the log data table, and down the bottom, I've got my calibration history. So that's pretty much how you set up a template and save it. So Thanks for watching this. I hope you found it useful. If you've got any questions, please email me or give me a call. My details are on the screen now.